Hey guys, welcome to my channel, and in this video today, we're going to be folding the Outrider Knight from Dark Souls 3. It's a bit of an intermediate model that I designed about, like, four years ago. And, yeah, um, before we begin, here's a crease pattern. And some paper recommendations would be, copy paper is pretty good. You want, like, a not-too-thick, not-too-thin type of paper um, to get the best results. This is a smaller version of it. A, a much more simpler one how I intended it, but you know me, I went above and beyond and I did a lot of details. I didn't have to, but I just wanted to. And uh, yeah, so I guess we should begin the tutorial and see you guys. Let's do this. So in this tutorial, I'll be speaking in terms of grids which are like the little squares on paper. Uh, so it'll be easier to understand what I'm talking about or what I'm doing. Um, so we're gonna begin by folding a 16 by 16 grid, but I will speed that up because it's a bit boring in my opinion. If you wanna know how to fold it, I could make a video on it if you ask, but you could just look it up on YouTube. Um, you'll find a lot of the answers there. And yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. And I'll see you after the time lapse. Sight, you really thought I was about to play that. <laughs> nah, but I do need some kind of background music. Oh my gosh, shut up. Oh, nothing. Um, subscribe to my YouTube channel and yeah, um, peace. Okay, so now that the, the grid is done, we're going to begin by folding a light pre crease that. I'm going to be teaching in terms of grids, like I said earlier, to make it easier to understand what I'm saying or doing. Also, let me explain how a grid works and how I'm going to be using it. Say mm, we have a 16 by 16 grid, like what I folded here. You can see that there are a lot of squares in that grid that I folded. Those squares are measured in terms of a grid so each square is a grid in other words so if I say two squares up two squares down then it's two grids up two grids down pretty simple so we're gonna begin down like so this way so I'm gonna see if I can bring it closer three diagonal lines up and one down like that So it should look like that. Then do five diagonal grids up. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm going to demonstrate how to do that. So I'm going to demonstrate how this. So as you can see, one diagonal grid down and five diagonal grids up. So this is the middle. You want to go one line past the middle. I'm going to repeat that on the same side. So one, two, three, one diagonal grid down. Grids up. So there. My head's not in the camera, <laughs> so you can see the cold. Okay. 
Okay. So this is what it should look like. Next, we're going to begin by decreasing the upper right corner, which is the left arm. I need to fold the paper in half because it's a little bit too big. But we're going to start by grids down one, two, one diagonal grid out to the right. Um, I would like to fold like this, but you'll see what I mean in a second. All right, two. Okay, three down, I'm stupid. <laughs> So, then two up, head or the right side complete, right arm and right side of the head. Now we're going to go over to the sword arm, which is over here. this three diagonal grids down two three and then one up so one two three four and I'm gonna demonstrate it because it's a lot easier to show than it is to explain Okay, so you can see now two diagonal grids to meet up with the head. We could also pre-crease the head, but it'd be a lot easier to fold it later on in the model. But we're going to begin collapsing now. So with the legs, which is down here. So a mountain fold all the way across the whole bottom and connecting it like this diagonal so just like this follow along the edge connect it diagonally with the tip okay now we're gonna fold it valley like this on both sides we want to go like this pretty much we want to go three up like this and as you can see, the pre-creases are there. Follow along those lines, so it would look like this. So, look something like this. Now, I'll repeat that on the other side. All right. So it's okay to straighten out this part, I guess. Straighten out the top while you're folding the bottom, because we'll get to that later. So when you get to this point, there should be this section right here. You don't want to squash this in. You want to actually poke tip out instead of pushing it in, and it should look like this. like that and naturally it'll like poke out the sides like this and you just want to shape around that we already have creases for that and grab the two sides and allow them to close in and squash it okay so this is what it should look like when you are done and make a valley fold across the entire top. I mean, mountain fold across the entire top.
Okay. So, for the left side, you want to go three grids down, just like how this foot is. You want to repeat it up here. Okay. Like this. And you want to keep going downwards with that. Okay, we're gonna stop right there on that side because we need to collapse this. You, we made some creases right here, diagonal crease. And you want to follow along that like so. And this is the one we made that was uh, three down. I'm going to go three down and then one up, or three diagonally and then one up, or two up, I mean. Oh my goodness. And obviously you can see there's a point here that naturally goes up. You want to just follow along this and collapse. and get in a little bit of finer detail, as I would like to say. So, for the leg, there's this little flap that we have, and we want to fold this top edge to the bottom edge right here, like this. Okay. So you unfold it, and then, you want to open okay so at the top the top there's the crease we made and then there's the other side of it that's the other crease you want to squash it down while poking out the middle I don't know if you can see it Push it down. All right, that side done. Now move on to the next one. Now that is the left side done up to this arm thing you did on these legs on this part right here so I'm gonna demonstrate this one's a little different than them except and I think you just push it in here so the head Open it up and squash fold the tip down. Then open up the model a little bit and open up the top like this. All right, as you can see, there are diamonds and you want to follow along those lines that are created Follow along those lines. Okay, like so. Collapse it. Okay. okay, so now we're going to start with some details on the head. Fold this first flap down, and the second one, you want to fold from this tip to this middle point here. So it should look something like this. Crease strong, because we're going to need to open this up. 
So, it should look like that to this tip, this tip to this point. Okay, and fold and open. So, pretty simple. Open it up and follow along the outer square that's right here. That was created when we obviously did the fold. And it should look something like this. Okay. Oof. So it should look something like this. Turn it over. From here to this point. So it should look something like this. Diagonal like this. And allow it to collapse itself. Okay. Now we're going to get the arms in order. This, fold this part diagonally down like this. Okay. Now, repeat on this side. Okay. So we're going to turn it back around and we're going to do some open it up. Dig two layers in. You went two layers in, you saw, open it up, take two layers out like that, follow along this line like so. And as you follow along, you notice it naturally wants to close this way. Line it up with this line right here. Right. Okay, so I didn't really like realize this as I was recording the video, but I was recording in portrait mode. So pretty much, yeah, the video is not going to fit in the frame properly because the app I use, you can only um, edit in um, landscape line. mode. You can only record in landscape mode to edit it. So um, I'm going to try my best to try to fit certain things in frame. There's going to be a lot of cuts, of course, because some stuff is off frame. But that's really annoying, and at least I know that's for the future. Right. Hopefully I won't have to use this in the future, but... And you want to yeah. fold... Oh, don't forget to like the video. Like this, and then like that. Okay. So it's like, um, let me see something. So... <sighs> okay. This is kind of what I'm talking about. Oh my... Gosh, do it on this I side. legit have been editing for a little while, and this is what happens. It's actually in the camera in my unedited version of this, okay. which I think now actually if I crop it properly, I could put that part in the video, up, but I'm really not trying to do all that. So yeah, room. this is annoying, but I do show how to do it properly on the other legs, so it kind of like makes up for it. Just bear with me. I think I'm going to be uploading once a week.
Okay, so we are done with the pre-creasing and collapsing part. Um, we're going to move on to the shaping, and I'm going to explain a little bit about how the shaping works for this specific model and show you the finished product. Um, and yeah, I'll see you in the next part. Okay, in this video, I will kind of show how to shape it, though I recommend that you shape it your own way because my approach is a little detail heavy for what I intended this model to look like. Now, of course, I did um, want to add these details, though, because I thoroughly enjoyed um, folding this and shaping it, and I, would pra I was practicing with armor plating um, for like a month, and I wanted to put it into a model, and this was the perfect one for me, though I do have um, the simpler version, which you could do, but just thought it was cool, and yeah. This is what you could do with the uh, simple base. You can see there's not a lot of scales. You could just finish it just like this and it still looks good and it stands obviously pretty well. But um, uh, for anyone who wants a shape like me, which I think you should you know, do your own, um, this is how you could do it. Uh, let me start with the foot and we're gonna begin folding. So first thing you do is turn this around, fold it down the middle this way, pretty much as far as that goes, so it should look something like this, turn it around, fold a line in between, so from up here to down here like this. Like that and use that as our base pretty much so I'm gonna draw lines on where you're supposed to make these angles but keep in mind this is just the way I do it it's kind of hard for me to um, say how to do it specifically because I don't really know I just fold so going to make very important lines to be on this Oof, I can't believe I messed it up, it's weird. This one, and this one. Now, as you have these lines, you want to fold along the first one like this, and fold outwards. So it should look something like this, and then repeat on this plate, armor plate is what you call them because that's what it ends up being. You can see I'm just crimping it a little bit, and repeating on the other side. And last one. All right, so it should look something like this. Now, of course, it is not as neat as it should be, but now we're going to um, finalize this part of the leg by folding diagonally this way and allowing this to naturally, I'll show you what I mean. So. The edges just fold them back like so and turn it around as you can see this part needs to touch the middle or this edge needs to fold be folded to the middle so like this like that okay it should look something like this okay now repeat this on the other side pop this out and right here you want to fold down and this is the foot 
So it should look something like this. Hold it down like this. You can see. So you want to just fold it up like this, like that. Now for the knee pad to look like that. Actually, I remember how to do this. So you want to fold this kind of close to the center, but not actually touching it. And repeat that on both sides. So it should look something like this. Then you want to fold a diamond like that, or a square into this, like this. Then you want to pop out the middle, and let me grab this actually. You want to fold this edge to this middle point, so it's like an angle in between. I'll show you, like this. So now you want to repeat that on this side. And it should look like this. So for the next step, you want to fold from the middle a line like this a mountain fold so I'm using tweezers to shape this but yeah this is what like this and that pretty much is the finished knee. Now we're going to move on to the leg. So for the leg you want to fold this line to this edge so you can kind of see where they line up at and you want to make small pleats within the layers of the paper. Now it sounds weird, but the way I'm wording it, <laughs> the way I'm wording it sounds weird, but um, I'll show you what I mean. So, by pleating between layers, I mean on this side it looks as though you pleated it, of course, but on the other side, it looks like it's barely there. Now this side kind of failed a little bit, but you can kind of see what I'm talking about. So we're going to do that one more time. I'd say right about here, a little bit forward. And pleat. Now, to really keep these pleats in the paper, I usually uh, round the, the leg like this one. I need to round this one. So, like that. Now, actually, what you want to get is this going as far down as possible on both sides so you can bend the knee. And you want to create something like a little divot there to look like this. Alright, and that is how you fold one of the legs. Let me show you how to shape the chest. So this area, it, you can see it curves like this from this side. Um, and this allows you to fold it inwards because the knight's armor is shaped like this. We're only going to do this midsection and this bottom section because this has to combine with that. So we need to go to the arm. So to start things off, you want to take take this edge and fold it down to this like this okay. 
Man, this paper is thick. <laughs> All right, so it should look something like this. And you kind of want to curve it. So like this, you kind of just want to curve this and fold this part down. This is like the skirt, but you'll see it later when the model is almost finished. Of course I could do better shaping than this, <laughs> but right now I'm rushing it a little bit because I'm still trying to figure things out myself. And allow this to create a little divot in the model. You can see. All right, you want to fold in half. You want to fold it in half along with this area. So, this is what the body should look like. And now we want to move on to the arm. So with the uh, shoulder pads, you want to crimp the edges a little bit like that, right? Just like that. That looks pretty good. Now, fold. So it's kind of like a weird angle to fold this uh, jar line a little bit. So you can see what I'm talking about. Fold at like an angle like that. And repeat this on the other side. So something like. Something like that, right? Goes towards the middle. And do the same technique with the uh, legs where you fold it down like that. All right. So with this section of the arm, we want to split this into second. It's like this. And even thirds, so or fourths. So fold it to that line that you made right there. Let me just do that and fold this one up to here. Now, now we're going to start folding the armor plates. Upwards. You could do that with the legs yeah. too, actually. Instead of downwards, I think I messed up on the legs, but mm, that's good enough. I'm going to cut. Okay, so that's what that should look like. Okay, there is some extra, but you don't really need to worry about that. What we're gonna do is just round off the arm, just like how we did the leg, so the plates lay flat, and yeah. To finish it off, you want to round off these. And the sword, you can shape it however you want. Okay. Now for the last part, the head. This side, you want to fold inwards. You can see it's a diagonal crease, so from this point to this point, inwards. And as you can see, folding it inwards naturally creates this um, pocket, I guess you could call it, which matches the side, as you can see. And with this pocket, you can, on the inside, see this is why it's like that so we want to collapse this side as well okay I'm gonna I'm over here in editing and I found something that I forgot to put in the video so while I was shaping the head or while I am shaping the head um, there was this part where I was like fumbling through here and this was like this and it should have looked like this because this is like the side of the the, uh, the helmet and it's because you need to this right here from here needs to be lifted up and the pockets right here need to be put inside so yeah I didn't discover that until after I was done filming or recording and yeah just wanted to put that in the video so yeah
Okay, so at this part, you want to make creases like this. and all those creases like so because the mask or the front mask of the Outrider Knight is barred up if you will <laughs> okay I'm going to cut to when this is fully completed okay so now the model is fully completed and it looks pretty good I'm satisfied with it there are a lot of things I do want to add as well though, which I might not have time for, but I'm gonna try to fit them all in. The first thing is glue. Um, I don't use it, and you could if you wanted to. I think I should use it if I was going to sell this model um, to make it more long lasting, though it's fine sending it the way it is now. I just feel like it would get damaged a lot easier. Um, I also wanted to add more detail to it because I felt like I could, but I always have a hard time like stopping at a certain point. So I decided to call it there, you know, because if, if I kept going, I would just kept adding details and it wouldn't have been good. Besides that, um, how I shaped the simple version was pretty simple. Uh, in the video where I shaped the scaled version, the simple version can be shaped just like um, just by rounding the limbs off and just making the model more round It's not really that difficult and frankly, I don't think you need to watch a tutorial on how to shape it It's super simple, especially from the base that we started with uh, And another thing my upload schedule. I hope to be uploading at least once a week until my editing skills get better and the my channel starts to grow, which is another thing I want to talk about. I really want to start making money off of my videos, and I want to make money off of my art, and hoping you guys can help me with that. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about. Hope you guys liked the video. Um, I spent a really long time making this, and bye.